These are directions for setting up the screen for the laser shot. Uh, you will receive a big gray box uh, that has the screen frame. Uh, inside the black container is the screen. Uh, and then inside the little bag are some screws to attach everything together. First, go ahead and put the two legs together. Uh, there is an extension uh, that this actually will fold all the way up, but that is something uh, that it doesn't need to be that tall. And when I set it up, I always just leave it folded down in that position there. Simply start unfolding the frame itself. Uh, it gets into a big square shape. Lock in all the edges. And then you'll have the square frame and it is marked uh, which one is the top. Inside the black bag, you'll find, inside the small black bag, you'll find a variety of screws. These are what attach the sides that hold it up to the frame itself. It screws in from the back this way and it'll just kind of secure right on in that way so that when you have one side done, it's kind of like that. And the screen will attach to the other side on the buttons. I start usually either one, one hole right from this part here, which makes this overlap just a little bit on that side. Um, you can also go to the second hole um, as well, and you can just adjust it for the height uh, for what you're doing, and it just screws on in there. Again, this is the part it screws into, so I'll start with it on this side. Move that over into there. Screw it together. Now we're gonna mount the screen on. Uh, a couple things about the screen. Uh, don't let any papers uh, get packed back with it as the last group that did this left this paper in there and now we have a permanent marking on our screen. Um, this is kind of a pretty expensive uh, piece of material. Uh, you can definitely button it uh, right up onto these buttons, uh, standing up like this, or you can lay it down uh, and do it uh, with it laying down and then setting it up. The black side goes uh, towards the part that you'll see. And again, you just take these buttons and they pretty much got to stretch the screen kind of tight. Click it on there pretty good. And that's what the finished screen setup would look like. You can't set it right against a wall because you have that back brace sticking out on that side. All right, when you originally get this and you take out the mouse, there's an on off switch on the bottom. You wanna make sure that's on as well as on the keyboard, there's an on spot there. Uh, when you first get this, there should be a brown icon down here in the bottom corner. You right click on that and hit to return to menu. If that is not there for some reason, up here, you'll click on Firearm Interface. You right-click on that and click on Open. It will then uh, open that up. That's what makes the whole system work. Uh, down here, uh, if you right-click to set up, you'll go to Return to Menu. And that pulls up how to uh, set it up because every time you take it down, it needs to be reset up. Click on Configure. You can try a rapid realignment. Um, if that doesn't work, you just go to full setup and what you want to do is you want to make sure that the screen here in the center um, it picks up pretty well. Right now it's a little too white. You want it to be like the one in the green there on the right hand side. Um, right up, sorry, like that one right there. To do that on the camera there's a couple dials and as you turn the one that says open you can make that darker or lighter. You just want to get it uh, the same uh, stuff is the top in the top right. Once that's all set up, you simply click on next. It'll then go through a series of setup features. It'll set it in. On this one, you want the arrows um, to be in the correct spot. So for example, this one in the top right isn't. If I left click on it, It'll make a bigger box, and then I can set it where it needs to go. Uh, the rest look okay. I click Next. It goes through a whole setup. I click Next again. 
It'll go through and do a standby feature. And then at this point, you'll want to just check that the gun is in. So when you start shooting, you want to make sure it's hitting where you want it to hit. You kind of just start going in each corner, get it to where it's all going. If it's not working, the directions say you can use the arrows, uh, the arrow key on the keyboard to actually move those left, right, up, or down to get it dialed in. Uh, when you're done there, just hit home and then start training. You're making a video, huh? I am, yeah. Then these are the two icons that you'll use. Uh, these will be the two different games that can be used.